In this class you will study about some ways to create mirrored materials and using an image or not as a reflection. Open the mirrored materials file located in the course files. Let's try to learn a little about how the reflection concept works. Reflection is only enabled in advanced type materials, whereas you can define the material reflection level. You can see the tabletop is sketched from a checked material. We'll define reflective materials for the table and vase. Now apply a quick rendering to see how the reflection effect looks. See how it looks. The table reflects the vase and the vase also reflects the table. It is also possible to simulate a reflection in a material using an image or a procedural map. The reflection map parameter simulates a texture which reflects another material. This is a typical case when there are not many objects in the drawing and you wish a specific object to be highlighted from the other objects. So let's practice this and create a material to mirror and reflect the vase. As we already have a modeled solid, click Create New Material and define the material type as Advanced. Now designate some characteristics to the reflected image. The color can be a grayish tone or even almost black according to how you want it to look. In a material editor option, adjust the opacity to 100 as we don't want the object to be transparent. The same setting is designated for the reflection. As it will be a mirror image, it has to reflect the entire image. So designate the brilliance as 100%. We won't insert any image for the reflection, as it will only reflect the image itself. Click Apply Materials to Object and select our mirror. Render it and see how it looks to see if the reflection is clearly displayed in the drawing. If you wish, you can also designate a new color for the mirror. Render it and see if it continues being reflected in the drawing.
reflective materials are often used to display marble, solid paintings, reflective ceramics, polished plastic surfaces, and others. We recommend you saving these settings on these materials on a customized palette for future use for other files. Then, to conclude, let's freeze the crystal ball layer. You can see this solid shape looks like a very common gift used by companies to see their trademark. After that, let's load the reflection map image and render it. See how it looks. The material shows a reflection of the loaded image, and it doesn't show any nearby objects. This type of material is used for small parts, when it is difficult to observe this kind of reflection. So, in this class, you've studied about reflective materials to add more realism to your drawings.